Update on Gold Rush Since 2011, Tony Beats has been a prominent figure on the television show Gold Rush. Despite his unconventional background, he ventured into the Yukon and surprisingly unearthed a talent for extracting precious metals from the earth. Tommy Beats is renowned for his traditional mining methods and his inclination to raise his voice whenever he deems fit. His unwavering determination in the face of haunting challenges has geared him admiration from fellow miners and granted him a life of considerable comfort born on December 15, 1959, in White Inder, Netherlands. Tony Beats grew up with farming roots as family moved to Burgard in 1966, where they established a farm. However, a pivotal moment occurred in 1974 when an accident left his father called Beats disabled at just 15 years. Old Hermie took on the responsibility of running the far har and overseeing workers much older than him instead of daunting him this experience became transformative shaping him into the influential leader he is today fueled his work ethic and determination, motivating him to match or even surpass the skills of his older colleagues in 1980 facing uncertain prospects in farming Tony and his girl Rant Minnie took a bold step and moved to Canada. They settled near Salmon Arm in British Columbia, initially running a dairy farm. However, in 1984, Tony's life took a new direction when he discovered the potential of gold mining Tony and Minnie who got married in 1984, eventually moved to Dawson City in Canada's Yukon Territory. Over their 30-year marriage, they welcomed four children, Mike in 1990, Bianca in 1993, and Ken in 1988. Sadly, they also lost their daughter, Jasmine, when she was just two years old. In 1984, Tony started his mining career in Dawson City where he first operated machinery despite his humble beginnings, his perseverance and determination have paid off as he is now recognized as one of the most successful miners in the Ken region. In 1994, Tony Beats founded Tanat Gold Resources, Incorporated, which helped a venture that now owns multiple mines in Dorson, Perth, and Saberi solidify his reputation as a prominent figure in the mining industry on December 3, 2010. The first episode of Gold Rush aired on Discovery Channel. The first season of the show focused on a group of miners trying to make their way into the mining industry with Tony Beats and several other cast members joining the show during its premiere. Their estimated collective net worth is $20 million with their gold mining ventures providing the lion's share of revenue. In addition to running several gold mines in the Yukon, the Beats family also owns a home in Arizona. Tony Beats income is mostly derived from his ownership and operation of many gold mines in the Yukon, notably the huge Shrow Creek mine. Additionally, Beats range from $50,000 to $200,000 for every Discovery Channel episode of Gold Rush, which increases his earnings from his business endeavors. Gold Rush star due to a specific incident in an episode of the popular Discovery series, Tony Beats was hit with legal ramifications. The person had permission to pour petrol into a nearby pond ignite the area and Beats stood in front of the flames with a satisfied expression. However, this action resulted in legal ramifications and Beats was eventually fined F4000 for allowing the discharge of waste into water coupled with an extra $2,000 for failing to notify it cost his business $10,000 and $5,000 for the same violations and an additional $5,000 for each of the two instances in which he failed to follow the terms of his water license. Tony is well known for having a strong work ethic, which he has demonstrated from the start of his career, his commitment to the hard work and persistence have helped him reach new heights and accumulate a sizable fortune in addition to his achievements. In the workplace, he is praised for being a loving husband and father. Thanks for watching my, my